man, send me a man. They sent me a man. Like, he's no fine little man. He's handsome. I think he can handle my energy, which I do like. And just, you know, me as a person. So that was very attractive, you know. We could have fun together. Well, guys, someone is very impressed with Scott, as we can clearly see from that clip. In fact, in the villa, he's being treated a bit like some sort of rare animal. A exhibition at the zoo, if you like. Have you heard the news? No, I actually uh, have to get this. So what's going on, y'all? We have a new friend. He's no, from Love Island, she's UK. Love Island UK. UK. <laughs> this season. And he's now in the villa. Death. And he's here. Yeah. 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 What? He's from Wales. He's 22. Brown hair. Blue eyes. Bullet blue. Okay, yeah, I know my type is Cece, but... I know. That's why I was like, someone bring her in. Where she <laughs> go, go get her. Wait, he's in the kitchen. You want to peek out? Hey, you want to oh, look? Let's go, let's go. Peek. Shh, hey, yeah, peek, peek. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. I just do a peekaboo. Oh, can you see him? But if there was a moment that expresses the Britishness in Scott, it's got to be this moment. Now, I should warn you beforehand, there is some bad language in this and in this discussion he is talking about tattoos with Cassie and she makes this admission. No I, excuse. I have one on my ass. <laughs> like on it? Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> it just gets worse. It just gets... You're gonna see it at some point anyway. I'm, I'm not wearing underwear so I feel like I would Oh shit. Yeah I can't. I can't shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yes. I mean wow. I mean, the other day, the last video, I said, you know, Love Island USA seems to hit a bit differently, and here it is again, doing exactly that. I mean, what what a thing to say to a guy. I, no wonder he reacted the way he did. I mean, I, how would you react if a woman said that to you? I don't know, because a woman's never said that to me. Now, soon we'll have a recoupling, and let's see if Scott ends up in a couple and stays on Love Island USA, because I believe if they don't recouple and get chosen, whatever, at the end of this week, then he will leave, and the other boys who don't get picked will leave also. That's what I've been led to believe. I haven't been able to watch every episode. I'm struggling to get the episodes because of all the nonsense with VPNs and what have you, but that's what I've been led to believe. Now, I did actually see a trailer, finally, for Love Island Games. So let's have a look at this trailer for Love Island Games. It's not a fantasy program. I was wondering if it was actually going to happen. It is actually happening, and here's the trailer. Get excited! Your favourite islanders from around the world return for a brand new high stakes competition. Love Island Games, coming this fall only on Peacock. So there you have it, fairly perfunctionary and dull, but we know it's starting in fall on Peacock. A bit annoying that it's only on Peacock for now and not coming to us for a while after that, but it looks kind of okay. All I'm taking away from this is that Ian Sterling gets a lot of voiceover work and he must be absolutely delighted with the money rolling in from all the various Love Island work he does. So we'll see what it's like. I mean, I, I'm curious to know how the format's going to work. I'm curious to know how it's going to succeed. It just seems to me like it's going to be, what, a load of challenges with some romance thrown in, which is essentially another program called, oh yeah, Love Island. So there you go. <laughs> Not really sure what the point of it is, but we'll see, won't we? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a lovely Tuesday. I'll catch you later. Au revoir.